Housing is a human right, but in Long Beach, as in many cities throughout the country, with gentrification, affordable housing stock is becoming rare as developers take over low-income properties to refurbish and rent out at higher rates. Long Beach Residents Empowered, Libre, is a grassroots community organization seeking to create and preserve affordable housing, renters' protections, and community economic development. I'm a volunteer with Libre Long Beach Residents Empower, and I'm here because we have been seeing uh, the lo uh, in Long Beach rent has been increasing and increasing. We don't have rent control. We don't. Uh, the city don't recognize uh, renters, and uh, we are proclaiming today the Renters' Day in Long Beach, and uh, we we want use this thing just to start uh, having rent control in Long Beach. We need to let the city know that we are here. 60% of the people in Long Beach is renting and we have many homeless people because the um, cost of rent and we need to do something. That's why we are here. As renters, housing organizations have had very little wins, if any, in terms of policy. But our efforts as organizers, as renters, as community advocates have not been in vain. We have gained and we have won. Just in the short amount of time since Libre has been in existence, just over a year ago, we launched with the housing crisis bus tour. And shortly after that, we formed the first tenant association and we put the property management on check and we avoided evictions in that building. And most recently, with the help of our legal partners, Legal Aid and BASTA, we were able to avoid three evictions of seniors from their apartments just because they couldn't prepare their units in time for bed bug treatment. And these are just the few of the stories that are going on in the city. Today we're um, going to City Council to present our comments on um, making renters' rights more priority in the city and not requiring credit checks with every single application to rent at a home. When low-income, retired, and disabled Long Beach renters are pushed out of affordable housing, they face the demoralizing demand by landlords who want first and last month's rent, as well as a security deposit, not to mention a credit report. One credit report can be $47. If they apply for three places, it could cost a prospective renter $150 for each application. This doesn't guarantee securing an apartment. On April 19th, Libre also placed a rental application credit report reform on the City Council agenda, sponsored by 7th District Councilman Robert Uranga, Vice Mayor 9th District Councilman Rex Richardson, and 2nd District Councilwoman Janine Pierce. And we all recognize that renters' rights is a very important issue, a big issue. At one time or another in our lives, we, we are renters. I was a renter once, and I know the issues that we go through when uh, a faucet doesn't work, a toilet doesn't flush, bed bugs, cockroaches. We know the issues. I know them. I've confronted them myself. So I totally respect what's going on, and I totally support your efforts that you're doing out here today. But I want to tell you one thing, that when it comes to putting people online, it's, it's you who's got to do it. You make us responsible. We're the ones that have to respond to you because we... Listen, and those of us that hear you, we're listening. We're, we want to do what's right. And what's right for renters is what's right for you. 70% of African Americans and Latinos in Long Beach rent. 44% of white people in Long Beach rent. I, so I know that this is a social justice uh, uh, issue that we have to make sure we look, look out for. You know, communities of need, communities of interest, communities of color. And that means making sure that we understand the needs of renters. Um, so this is a large diverse city, city of Long Beach is, you know, many people may know we're larger than the city of Atlanta. We're larger than the city of St. Louis. We are the city, larger than the city of Miami. And in, this, in a thriving city like this, we have to make sure we look out for everybody. That means taking care of 
renters, making sure that you have a clear, seamless path to find housing. That makes sure, you know, make sure that everyone can attain home ownership and, uh, you know, make take steps to achieving that. And so, I, you know, I want to make sure that you know that I'm an ally for you and I'm here to here to help support you. I have been a lifelong renter. I still rent. And I did have them come and check my house, I don't know, last month. And I'm a council member and I got nervous. Now, what are you doing here? Are you getting ready to raise my rent? Are you getting ready to try to evict me? What's happening? And so I know even as I experience that, I cannot imagine uh, what it is like for somebody that feels so disconnected from those that help make decisions in the city. And so I want to say there's no way in the world we're ever going to make a change in the city without you guys continuing to come up, sit down at the table, share your personal stories, be vulnerable with us, be vulnerable with, with the mayor and city staff, and share your realities. Because those are the stories that allow us to say it's not just a number. Right? Your story, the emotion that you share is so important. In a city run by real estate lobbies, and not the low-income retired or disabled Long Beach renters, the Apartment Association of Southern California cities and some property owners had the application credit report reform pulled off the agenda. All renters got was a pacifier in a proclamation to make April 19th Renters Day in Long Beach, California. Thank you.